Hello guys, it's Shem Messenger. Today I have a Beyblade video. This is a bit of a different discussion because it is a little bit more interactive. I will be showing stuff, uh, not just leaving up a picture or multiple pictures. Um, so yeah. But I decided to do this video as kind of a Belial retrospective. So I'm just going to go through every Belial part. Uh, give a very, very brief summary because I have already, you know, unboxed all these. I've talked about them a lot more extensively before, so... Just kind of give a quick recap to kind of their basic functions and just go with that. Um, just to describe them a little bit, and then we have kind of my opinion on the parts, uh, as well as like the stock combos, you know, the, the different gear sets, and just, I guess, the gears themselves. All that stuff. Uh, for some, well, I guess most, it'll just be like one opinion, and then for certain ones, there will be two opinions, kind of my current opinion, like everything else, but also my initial opinion, in case if I have a very different opinion than I used to. Um... And right here, what you see, this is every single Belial release, all of the, you know, new parts. Not not even new parts, there are some repeats, like, you could see, like, two Nexus discs, but, like, basically just, like, the main Belial releases right here, plus all the gears, There there's a lot of stuff here. And keep in mind, this is all in one line. All of these parts were for one bay in one line of bays with DB. I guess you could qualify BU, but, like, it, it's still DB. Also, sorry if there's any background noise. It is very windy out right now. Um, I hope that's not really too disruptive. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into all of the parts. So I will just go off kind of the basic stuff. So, like, we'll, we'll go into, like, Dynamite, and then I'll do probably, like, uh, the, probably Gears, the Devil Blade. Then we'll get into, you know, Dangerous, and then Divine, and all that stuff. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so now let's get into the Dynamite Belial stuff. So first up, we have the Belial core itself. Just a basic right spin core. Not a whole lot to say about this, and I think for most of the individual parts, I won't have a lot to say. We'll mostly just talk about like the base themselves as their stock combos. Um, but I will go more in-depth individually for the gears, so just giving that kind of as a note. But yeah, just a basic right spin core here. Nothing crazy. Two armor. This one always felt weird to me. I don't know why they didn't do three on Belial, but they did two. Just seems like a basic armor at the time. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, dynamite. Basic tri-wing blade. Not a whole lot to it. It was just this. Very thin, pretty small, bland. Nexus disc, another bland part. Gave us our introduction into DB discs and kind of what they did, you know, and kind of how high and low mode looked with them. Uh, I guess just, that's just like a layer thing as well, like high and low mode, but yeah. Just kind of the introduction to that. Um, yeah, nothing really to this disc. It was just very okay, average. And then for the Adventure Driver, we of course had this thing. Um, flat tip with some rubber here. Uh, it looked kind of weird. Had a more resistant spring than average. I don't think this was quite a dash spring, but like it was... Still more resistance than normal. And that's kind of just what Dynamite Belial was. It was not a crazy bay. And putting it together now, um, if I could uh, do that. This is what you got Dynamite Belial. Nexus Venture 2. This bay was the start of DB. And it was a start. Um, it was it was a start that we had to a generation. You got the high low mode functionality and not much else. I actually remember my initial uh, kind of video on this thing, which was probably like the first video I did that I think is actually half decent because that was kind of when I started to get a little bit more analytical stuff. Anyway, when I talked about Dynamite Belial, I did go over the parts and stuff, but that video ended up mostly just being kind of a DB system discussion, um, rather than a Dynamite Belial unboxing, because, like, there's nothing to this thing. Does this introduce you to the DB system? Yes. Does it do anything else from the start? No, it, it did nothing. Um... It was a very bland bay, and I feel like I wish they would have just given us a little more to this thing from the start. I get that it was supposed to be bland and have more added on to it, but man, this is such a 
such a bland vein, nothing going on. It does look cool though, we'll give it that, but uh, you definitely need some gears for this thing to really get going. And the first of those comes from F gear. So yeah, here is F gear. So let's go ahead and attach this on and then I will talk about it. All right, now having the F gear on, you can see we kind of have like this Fafnir color going on underneath, plus the blue rubber blades right here, the three of them. So what this would do is, this was meant to be an attack part, but it ended up being very popular for stamina, but its main idea was not that, it was just to kind of add on rubber contact points like Fafnir. Competitively, this gear is great, but I feel like over time, to me, it's a little bit boring because of that. It definitely rounded the shape a lot, and I feel like it made it kind of boring. Still a good gear, though, and I think just going back to when it came out, this was such a hype release because, again, Belial was kind of boring, and getting our first look at what a gear would look like when back then we had no idea how these gears were really going to be. Um, we had the pictures, sure, but like we didn't really know how gears were going to work entirely. We didn't know if they were going to be good or not. You know, and while nowadays I think F gear is so cool, just not too crazy, I think back then F gear was like such a massive deal, and I think definitely improved Dynamite Belly quite a lot. Um, and yeah, I think F gear is definitely one of the most important parts for just DV in general. Like, it, it was such a huge uh, deal. And yeah, F gear, pretty nice. Of course, comes from Banish Fafnir. And then our next part comes from Save Your Valkyrie a couple months later with the V gear. So this, of course, is for Venture, so let's go ahead and use this. Alright, now with the V gear on, pretty different actually. So what this would do is it would basically, you know, add on more weight to the driver, making this a pretty heavy driver. Uh, you also, kind of the way this thing spun changed, um, definitely a lot faster, although it was more prone to, to flying out of the stadium because of how the spin changed, but hey, it definitely changed its performance, we'll just say that. Uh, effectiveness, I would say, varies depending on who you ask. I think it's fine, but like some people might disagree with that. Um, also, LED, this is pretty round. It can help out at least a little bit with life after death, which is nice. Also, uh, this thing actually strengthens the Venture Spring, which I already said was a strong one. Uh, now it's even stronger than a dash spring, so that's a pretty huge deal, I would say, for what the V gear does to venture. But we still, of course, have some more stuff here. Next up, from Astral Spriggan, we have the S gear for Nexus. So, let's go ahead and attach this. Now with the S gear, got kind of this underneath part here. Uh, there's two modes, so you'd have two modes, which is nice. They also, you know, you could flip it around. Um... Kind of, I guess, referencing, you know, the Astral Blade, how it flips for mode changes. But anyway, um, adds a bit more weight to the disc, which is nice. But there are two modes. So one is stationary. These would be, these contact points would be flipped around the other way to make contact. Kind of be more attack heavy. Well, this one, uh, this is a free spin, which makes it, you know, a little bit less contact heavy. Um, so yeah. Very nice addition to the bait. And I feel like at this point, Dynamite Belial was really shaping up to be something very unique like it just for my side profile it's kind of dark but like you can kind of see um you know it was definitely a very unique looking bay and at this stage i think belial was really cool I, there was a lot of good stuff to it askier was a cool addition that really kind of made the whole thing come together because f gear and v gear disconnected were both interesting but i think s gear helped it out a lot but this would not last, in my opinion, because the next gear, I think, was a little bit more controversial in how it functioned. And that was, of course, the L gear from Guilty Longinus, being an armor replacement gear. So, yeah, that was something. So let's go ahead and put this on and talk about L gear and just the whole perfect Belial in general. Now, here it is. Dynamite Belial Nexus Venture Perfect Gear. The final form of Dynamite Belial. And at the time, it seemed like possibly Belial in general. Alright, so L Gear does a few things. First up, adds weight, you know, to the bay, of course, replacing two. It is heavier than two, so okay, cool, more weight. 
Also, it is a custom-made armor to specifically work with, you know, dynamite and whatnot. Um, and I guess just future Belial blades. But yeah, it is meant to give it more uh, stamina, which is cool. But, two problems. First up is how it functions. It gets rid of the two armor. So, every other gear to this point was an addition to the bay. You know, F gear goes on to dynamite. V gear goes on to Venture, S gear goes on to Nexus. L gear does not go on to anything, it just straight up replaces an armor. I still kind of think that this was not the best way to go about it. I do think it's fine, and I don't have a problem with it as much now as I did back then, because back then I hated this idea. But I think to just make a better designed bait, I think, yeah, it, it's understandable, I would say. But I think the biggest problem I had with this bay was... It locks the Belial in high mode, and to me, this just still looks so, so awkward. I do not like this gap. I never liked the whole high mode thing for DB because of gaps. It's why I don't really care for Greatest Raphael. Um, but I think, you know, having this locked like that just sucked. Because having high mode as a utility, as something you can use, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But having it locked in a mode especially high mode of all things, I just don't think was the right move here. And it just, I think a lot of other people also agree that this feels underwhelming. To this day, I don't care as much. I think this actually is, you know, a pretty solid looking bay overall. I like it still. Back then, I did not like it this nearly as much, but now I think it's fine. But back then, no, I hated this thing. Not hated, but I just thought it was really, really underwhelming overall. And I just, yeah, I didn't really care for how Elgir worked. Even nowadays, I think, you know, it's better than back then, but it's still not phenomenal. I'm still not that big on the whole high mode gap because of Elgir. I don't care for that. But that would not last because, like, before Guilty Longinus even actually released, like, we knew about it for a while, but we got the announcement of the Overdrive SP set. Which would give us dangerous Belial, a new Belial. And I'm going to say right now, I did not like that at all. I thought, if they're doing a Belial Evolution, I bet they're going to make it like a fused gear thing. It's just not going to have gears. They're all going to be fused on or whatever. I wasn't looking forward to that. But they actually did something a little bit more interesting this time around. But... Before we get into Dangerous Belial, because Dangerous Belial is a fun one to talk about for various reasons, we can't forget the Devil Blade. So, the Devil Blade, this was kind of a dynamite retool, uh, effectively. And there isn't a whole lot to this thing, and I think this was kind of a lame part. I'm not even going to bother really putting this on a Belial, I don't think it's anything special. Actually, I can just put it on dynamite. I guess I should not have said put it on dynamite. I mean, it replaces dynamite anyway. So here's Devil Belial. Here, here's just kind of the alternate Belial that you can make with this special uh, released part. So dynamite. So they did this in Sparking as well, where they released first Uranus as kind of a special release around the July starter time. First Uranus was cool. First, yes, it was a retool of Super, the first Sparking Ring. You know, Devil is it kind of a retool of the first DB Blade, you know, Dynamite. But Uranus was way cooler because it had the Uranus chip with it. And first, Uranus was literally not only a predecessor to Variant Lucifer, but it was kind of shown to be the precursor to not only Lucifer, but also Hyperion and Helios. All of the new sparking motifs. That was cool, tying them all together. This thing, it's just a part that released, man. I don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty uninteresting. Does it look way cooler than Dynamite? Yes. I will give it that. But there's just nothing really else to say about Devil. It just kind of was a part that released. At the time, before I got it, I thought it was really cool. I was really interested in it. But after getting it, honestly, it, it didn't need to exist. This this could have just been a random recolor of Dynamite or something. This We didn't need this. Um, is it a cool collector's item? Yes. Was it actually a part that needed to be released as its own part? No. So I, that's just kind of where I stand with Devil, honestly. It's, it's, just, it's just here, man. I don't... Anyway, let's get to Dangerous, because that's definitely the uh, more pressing matter here. Alright, moving on to Dangerous Belial. So first up, the Belial 2 core. A complete redesign of Belial. Um, 
yeah, it looks really cool. And its main function is that it now has a burst stopper. So, you know, if you launch hard enough, that will come out and, you know, help it to not burst. Pretty nice. Um, dangerous. Yeah, this is the blade they went with here. A little bit more attack oriented. It has this hard rubber here and then like, um, like the inside. It's like not contact points, but it's just here still. It's sure. Um, also, they re 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 they, they reuse the two armor. Uh, that's fine though. Uh, they were gonna replace it anyway, so who cares? So yeah. And All Might, the disc driver fusion that isn't exactly a fusion. So here it is. Looks like this. It's it's pretty pretty nice, I would say. Um, yeah. So if he, this part free spins right. But if you launch hard enough, it will lock in place and it won't really move that much. Uh, the metal on here is actually removable, like that. Um, and the idea is that you could change the modes. So you have a high mode and a low mode. So in low mode, it's like this. You could use this on either the higher or low mode of the layer. But there is an exclusive high mode for if you use high mode on the layer, like this. Also worth noting, this white part here that it attaches onto is bound, so there's a spring in there. It moves around like that, so... Pretty unique. Uh, this whole bay is very strange. So let's go ahead and put this thing together. Um, and show you what Dangerous Belial looks like when it's all uh, assembled. So, yeah, we'll go low mode, and... Yeah, there it is. So, here is Dangerous Belial All Might 2. Uh, this, I feel like it's still awkwardly small, uh, All Might, but I think overall, this is a nice looking bay, and just as a base form, I think this evolution, while I want to say necessary, it really wasn't, but like, we already had all the gears, I don't think we really needed an evolution, but it's not like the worst thing ever, I'll talk about more of that a little bit though, but uh, you know, giving a burst stopper, kind of toughening up the blade a little bit, well, for attack anyway, and I know Dynamite has its stamina use, which is like way better than this thing for attack, but like, like it wasn't meant to be stamina, you know, so like for attack, yeah, this is better than Dynamite. All Might was a interesting experiment, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot cooler, I will say. And of course, they did not fuse all the gears, they left the gears available for you to attach so I think that made Dangerous Belly a lot more interesting and I was a lot more willing to accept it because of that. Originally the idea of another Belial just seemed really annoying again especially if they were to fuse all the gears but showing that yes you get to add all the gears instead of evolving Belial in the sense of it gets a new upgrade to a part they evolved Belial itself with all of these extra gears that it already had but that's actually kind of a cool idea and I liked that quite a bit at the time, although nowadays I think Dangerous is a little bit... It, I don't know, it's like kind of just in an awkward spot again. I will talk about that kind of towards the end of the video, but... Let's just get into this thing with the gears attached. Alright, now we have Dangerous Belial All Might Perfect Gear. So, this looks awkward, in my opinion. I don't like how this looks, but that's probably why they added in the high mode for All Might, because when you uh, take this apart, you flip it around like this, because, you know, it's the layer's locked in high mode, so now you can do this. That looks a lot better. Well, there is this gap here. I think it's a lot less offensive when S gear is up here, uh, in my opinion, at least. I, I just think this looks a lot better. Still a little bit weird, but better. So, there it is. L gear does the same exact stuff as it did for Dynamite, you know, replacing the armor, um, locking it in high mode, you know, kind of meaning to pair well with this thing for stamina, adding, you know, just kind of being heavier, I guess, not really adding weight, just being heavier than to um, F gear, adding rubber, although I guess Dangerous already has rubber, adding a different type of rubber, and more of it. There you go. S gear... You know, same idea, but if you did not use the free spin and you used the fixed, it's now bound, which is actually really cool. V-Gear does lose some functionality, though. 
Because of how it attaches, it no longer really affects the uh, spring. So All Might doesn't actually have a great spring, but of course you have the burst stopper on Belial too, so it's fine enough. Um, but yeah, no longer affects the spring. And it doesn't really change the spin all that much, in my opinion. If anything, it just makes it a little more prone to self KOs, but like, it's not really that much different, I don't think. I guess a little bit, but still. Um, it's just a really awkward pay. Um, yeah, it, it, all, all Might's weird, but it does still add weight, you know, some LAD, I guess. A little bit. Um, overall, though, I think having this thing as its perfect gear form, this thing is ridiculous. As you just see, this thing is dumb. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's certainly a funny bay. So, I do think this fixes some issues with uh, Dynamite, but at the same time, takes away from it a little bit, I think. I think having a basic bay that becomes way more interesting was a cool idea. This thing already had some stuff going for it, and it just felt like it was purposefully underwhelming. Like, All Might seemed weirdly small. Um, dangerous, like, the gaps were way, way more apparent, in my opinion, on this thing. Um, uh, yeah, this thing was definitely made after the gears, I think. It was definitely made for the gears to fit on it, um, rather than modeling the gears kind of around the design. Um, but hey, it, it's still cool. I mean, like, yeah, it's nice, but it definitely feels like a Belial evolution, but I think that it doesn't do as good of a job as something else, which I'm going to get to in a minute here, but yeah. Overall, an interesting experiment of a bay, but... You know, I might have thought this was pretty cool at the time, but nowadays, you know, I, I don't care for this thing as much anymore. Especially when there's three whole Belials out there. It's just not really as interesting to me. However, we do, of course, get to Divine Belial. So, when I first heard that they were going to do a third Belial that was going to be mostly reused parts for BU, I was like, are you kidding me? This sucks. But then I heard it was getting its own gear set, and I'm like, oh, never mind, that's great. I feel like by the time it came out, it was a little bit more mixed. I thought, okay, new gear set, what can they really do to make this thing more interesting? And also, the base bay, in my opinion, just... I just did not care for it. So it came with a Belial 2 core. A recolored Belial 2. They didn't even make Belial 3 for this thing. However, they did actually make a stronger lock here. Uh, this was actually, you know, increased in strength, the burst stopper, and they even added a pair of BU locks onto this thing, stealthily, before we even knew what BU locks were. I don't know why they didn't save this for Belial 3, but, yeah, here you go, they, they made it. The blade is, of course, divine, so, yeah, this was very thin and awkward, I did not like this blade much at all, I thought it just sucked. Uh, had a little bit of metal to keep the weight, but like, yes, no one liked this blade, let's be honest. This thing, this thing was not good. Um, and then you had three. Originally released on Vanish Fafnir, the only part from a mainline Belial that was, you know, reused from something that wasn't a Belial. But it pairs better with, you know, the Belial blades, so this should have just been used from the start, honestly. Nexus, we're back to Nexus. It's kind of just that one basic disc we got from Dynamite. There you go. And also Adventure, yes. A retool of Venture. It works the exact same, you know, the stronger spring and stuff. The, the basic flat, this, this kind of design, the rubber. Although this time the rubber kind of can retract, and it's also in like these two claw designs, rather than like a ring that's higher up. So, there you go. That's, that's Adventure. It's not that interesting though, but anyway. Let's go ahead and make our Divine Belial, the original stock version of it anyway, and we'll talk about it. So here it is, Divine Belial Nexus Adventure 3. I thought this bay just felt very underwhelming. I thought it looked kind of cool, but at the same time, I was just like, we did not need this. Belial 2, okay, sure. Stronger burst lock, the VU locks we didn't even know about. 
did we need these things? This could have just been like kind of a mold too, which it was, but we didn't need a whole new burial for it. You know, three reuse part not even originally from Belial. Nexus a reuse from the first Belial. Adventure was just a retool of Venture, honestly, and then Divine is actually a new blade, but it wasn't a good blade, so yeah. This base sucks uh, in its base form. I did not like it. I don't think a lot of people liked it. But with a new gear set, there was at least some promise for it. Kind of, I guess. But you were still able to use all of the original gears on it, which was actually kind of a nice touch, so yeah. Now, when you have all the gears on this thing, it definitely looks decent, actually. Even with this gap here, I feel like something about this Belial 2 core recolor actually looks pretty good with the gears on it. But it still just seemed off. I don't know, F gear kind of works here. It works fine, but I think the main problem is L gear. This just seemed way too small for kind of the shape of this uh, bay. I don't know, it just looks a little bit weird to me. And yeah, we needed a new gear set. I think Perfect Divine Belial was... Oh, right, I guess the, the full name. Uh, Divine Belial Nexus Adventure Perfect Gear. There we go. It looks fine, but like... Yeah, a new gear set I think was kind of needed for this thing instead of repeating this one for a third time. And, well, we definitely got that. It started a couple months later with Guilty Longinus giving us the D gear. This, of course, you know, being for the Nexus disc. And it is the only gear to be compatible with any other Belial. So, of course, the Nexus disc, obviously, for Dynamite and Divine, and then All Might for Dangerous. So, yeah. This is the only gear of the ultimate gear set, at least, that is like that. So, yeah. Let's go and attach this one. Put this guy back to its base form. Specific, well, not base form, I guess. Specifically, just with, you know, D gear attached. So, yeah. Alright, now we have D gear attached. And this actually looked pretty decent at the time. Got the red, the blue. It definitely looked a lot more interesting, at least. You know, it was something. That's cool. Um... And yeah, I was just excited that Divine Belial was a little bit more interesting. I guess now this doesn't look as good anymore, but it was something at least. D gear itself has the whole 50 degree rotation thing going on. I guess instead of bound, they decided to do this where it you know, can move back, but still has a point. Kind of like Killer Death Scyther almost, but anyway. Um, yeah, sure. It was a, It's a pretty good gear. It does kind of the similar thing to S gear, you know, adds more weight. Um... Uh, I just think the shape and just kind of the less scraping uh, is a little bit better than S gear, but yeah. Still, okay, anyway. Still not too crazy yet, but we get another gear before we go really crazy, and that was, of course, with A gear. A gear being Chromo Force Zest Achilles, and for the Divine Blade. Also, this was the first gear to kind of be marketed as an exclusive gear, because this was only to be used with Divine. You know, F gear could be used with, you know, Dynamite, Devil, Dangerous, or Divine. This thing, only Divine. Um, you know, L gear could be used with any of those as well. You know, S gear, Nexus or All Might, D gear also, you know, Nexus or All Might, and then V gear, um, Venture, All Might, and Adventure. So our first real exclusive gear right here. So that was something. Let's go ahead and attach this to the Divine Blade and go over that. Alright, now with A gear attached... Looks like this. There are actually two modes to A-gear. One offsets these to be more like the main blades kind of being around here, which makes the blade rounder. Um, that's its defense mode, kind of, you know, mimicking Achilles having, you know, it's attack and defense modes, but I just don't think it's really that great. The better mode for Divine, especially with its design, uh, is the more aggressive mode for attack. Which, these will pair properly to the blades, and yeah, better attack points. I thought it was pretty cool at the time, and even now I think, you know, it definitely helps with Divine. It definitely helped Divine out a lot, I would say. Um, at least in performance. I think the design still isn't there, though. Uh, it definitely still looks a little bit underwhelming to me. Just Divine Belial itself isn't that crazy. And, yeah. It's an okay... I mean, it's still a really good gear. It's just 
overall, again, it just doesn't... Divine just did not have the push it needed yet to really stand out as a third Belial that we needed, you know. It just seemed like a waste of a slot, in my opinion, still. Also, I know some people will say, you know, F-Gear was way better than A-Gear. I kind of disagree. I think it, it's up to preference, but I think the reason why F-Gear was seen as so, you know, big, outside of competitive anyway, was just, it was the first gear, you know, everyone's like, oh, this is, you know, the first gear, and, uh, when you look at it like that, okay, yeah, it was the first gear. Of course, everyone was way more excited for F-Gear than they were A-Gear, but I think A-Gear is still a really nice gear. The mode switch is also pretty nice, but yeah. This was like the last time I would say Divine was just kind of whatever. It got a massive buff a couple months later with the Ultimate Fusion DX set. Because we, of course, got H-Gear, a two-part gear. So that's something. We got a two-part gear. For, you know, of course, Hyperion and Helios, based on Super Hyperion, MR, King Helios, MR, from that set. But not only do we get H gear, which is a really unique gear, we also got the Belial 3 core. This was meant to replace the Belial 2 core that was used on Divine, which was a really strange concept. I don't know why they didn't just make this from the start, but here it is, Belial 3, finally. Of course, it does have a uh, new design, and they did get Valkyrie 2 teeth instead of just reusing the Belial teeth, but... For some reason, you know, they have the BU logs on here, the one set, and the stronger lock. They kept those from the Belial 2, you know, second mold, I guess you would say. It just make, makes me wonder, why did they not make a Belial 3 right then? You already did half the work right there with redesigning, you know, the lock to be stronger, the BU locks on this thing. Why not just make this new design and, you know, slap the Valkyrie 2 teeth on there from the start? I don't know, but let's go ahead and attach the... Well, I guess replace the 3 armor with the H gear and replace Belial 2 with uh, Belial 3. And now we will have a much, much better Belial, in my opinion. And now we have something good. This just looks way, way more interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, this, this is a way, way better Belial right here. Belial 3 just really picks up the design, matching kind of previous Belials, bringing the design just to be much nicer. Looks more normal. I like it. H gear also, I like this design. I know there's supposed to be stickers here. I don't use stickers, but I think the clear still looks pretty cool on its own. Um, and while this does replace the three armor, which again, originally I didn't like, but I think they did it in such a way that I don't mind because they also released kind of the Belial three core on a divine uh, recolor in the set. And... It also released with H gear on it, so if you swap out the Belial 3 and H gear from that kind of random stock bay with, you know, the Belial 2 and um, 3 armor from the stock divine, and you just switch them around, you still just get kind of this random stock bay here. But it is a complete bay if you want to keep it like this, so there you go, that's that, but this thing is now looking way, way nicer. And yeah, I think this just was a massive step up for... Divine Belial. Also, it does not lock the bay in high mode. No, so they actually decided that this could be high mode or low mode, which I have it in low mode, of course. However, there is a burst, kind of burst stopper on the H gear that does not work in uh, low mode. It only works in high mode. While I don't think you really need that because you have the burst stopper on Belial 3 already, it's actually a pretty smart design, because it doesn't force the use of high mode, but since high mode is generally considered the worst of the two modes, you get kind of an extra bonus for actually using it, which I think is honestly really cool. It's a smart idea. Do you want the extra feature, but you have to use high mode, or do you just want to go without it, but you do get low mode? It's pretty cool, actually. And yeah, I like this bay a lot more with H gear, but we are still missing a piece here, and that comes with VS gear. Based on both Ultimate Spriggan, not okay, Ultimate Spriggan, Ultimate Valkyrie and Burst Spriggan from, you know, both coming in the Versus set. And here it is. It's kind of like a retooled V gear, um, basically, but now with this kind of piece here that spins. Yeah. Let's go and attach this thing and give us the final look at our last bay. This, this has already been going on a long time, man. And there it is, Divine Belial Nexus Adventure Ultimate Gear. The exclusive gear set for Divine Belial. And since I did not mention it, 
H gear is exclusive to use on Divine, and VS gear is actually usable on Venture, but not all might because it's much larger. So there it is. Well, let's talk about VS gear. So VS gear is very similar to V gear. It does strengthen the spring of Adventure, adds weight, adds some LED, changes how this thing spins. But you also got this little little free spin going on here. I guess yeah, I could do like something, but eh, whatever. It's not really that important, but still. It's just kind of like a better V gear, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, here it is. Kind of our last look at Belial, probably ever. Because um, I don't imagine they'll have all Belial again. I think Burks is almost done anyway. So anyway, yeah. There it is, our last look at Belial. Honestly, it's come a long way when you look at it. There was a lot of stuff in between, but when you look at the first compared to kind of the last in its final form, yeah... Yeah, Belial, it's been through quite a lot at this point. So, there you go. Kind of the first and last look at Belial. That, that just sits weirdly. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, Belial. What do I think of Belial? So, first up, I'm just going to say it. Divine Belial with the Ultimate Gear set. I think is my second favorite DB Bay, just in general. Chain Carbius be my favorite. I'm very biased towards Carbius, by the way, but still. I think they did that good of a job to turn it, you know, Divine Belly into something that no one cared about, no one really liked, into this thing. That's just crazy. They did a great job with the gears, and I think everything just flowed a lot more natural, well, naturally than um, the DB ones with, like, the perfect gear set. At least in my opinion. Yeah, I like this thing a lot. It's great. And if I could pick only one Belial, I think this was the best Belial. I think they kind of took the idea from Divine... Not Divine. Well, yeah, Divine took the idea from Dynamite to kind of make it much, much better. And I think they did a great job with that. Honestly, I think if I were to have two Belials and just kind of get rid of one, because let's be honest, do we really need three Belials? I don't think we do. Um, I would have probably just said Dangerous doesn't really belong. I think it doesn't belong with these two. And, um, well, it just seems very awkward. And I think Divine just felt like a better look at, you know, Dynamite. Feels like a more proper evolution to Dynamite. Dangerous is just a weird, very weird thing. They just kind of threw everything off, in my opinion. I don't know. It's, it's a weird bay. I still like it. It's just like, we didn't need three Belials. I'd probably get rid of that one. In my opinion, they should have just had, you know, Dynamite Belial and, you know, the perfect gear set kind of being the end of um, Belial in the anime and manga as bursts, you know, as a series like that, you know, ended recently, well, earlier this year, and BU was running without it. They want to give us another Belial, fair, and I think, you know, this would have been a nice, you know, adaptation of it. Dangerous to me just feels very, very strange in the mix, I would say. I, I'm still not the biggest fan of Dangerous in that regard. I don't think we needed three. Um, so yeah, overall though, Belial, I want to make this video just to show how ridiculous it is, how long this took to go over with everything. Um, Belial is just a ridiculous pay, honestly, there's so much to it. Um, all, all this stuff is just for this one line of bays in one series, too. All these are DB, you know, in, in terms of system. I mean, yeah, BU, whatever, you want, you want to take, you know, talk about BU, it's, it's still DB, right? So, um, there, it's all just one system for just this one line of bays. It, it, it's a lot. There's a lot with Belial. It's, it's just ridiculous how much Belial uh, got. So, so much part, uh, so many parts just, yeah, honestly, it's uh, kind of ridiculous. I just want to talk about this because I mentioned back last year I was going to make a video like this where I talked about all Belial's parts. That was when it was just Dynamite Belial with its gears and the Devil Blade. And Dangerous happened, and Divine happened, and the Ultimate Gear set happened. Here we are. I hope I did not jump the gun. I hope this is it for Belial, and I, I waited long enough for this video, but yeah. Just want to talk about all the Belial stuff, and just kind of, by the sheer length of this video, just show how absolutely ridiculous this line of A's is. So yeah, that's everything I have for this video. I hope it was uh, something to watch. Belial just has a lot of stuff going on. I don't... It, it, it's just... Kind of stupid, but I kind of like it. It, it was a fun time. 
Uh, dangerous, again, I wish, you know, it, it just, it reused the gear sets. I think having, you know, just Dynamite with the perfect gear set and then just Divine with the ultimate gear set would have been a lot nicer. Dangerous is just awkward. It doesn't have its own gear set. It just exists. That's all I have to say. That, that's everything with Belial. I probably won't talk much more about this bay until the ranking video for DB in a few months. But yeah, that's it. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and bye-bye.